Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm going to show you how to make the best Chinese hot and sour soup. Now this isn't an authentic recipe, this is an American Chinese classic restaurant recipe. And after watching this video, you'll easily be able to make it at your own home without having to pay anyone that extra tip. There's two ways to make this recipe, the slow cooker and the stove top. First up, I want to show you the slow cooker. The way I like to do it, which saves me a lot of time doing the dishes, is to add all the ingredients to the slow cooker as you prepare them. To start, grab yourself one square of firm tofu. And if you're like my marketing manager who doesn't like tofu because it looks and feels a little weird, feel free to leave this out. But if you're not scared of tofu, start by cutting that tofu into half inch strips. Then finish those strips into half inch cubes and if it gets a little crumbly on the edges, don't worry about that. Next up, grab yourself about eight ounces of mushrooms and go ahead and slice those into fairly thick strips. Use your favorite type of mushroom. Another really fun one is using the shiitake mushrooms. Whatever mushroom you use, go ahead, get those sliced up and add those into that slow cooker. The last fresh ingredient we're going to add that brings so much amazing Asian flavor to this is crushed ginger. To crush your own ginger at home, you're gonna wanna grab a spoon and easily peel away that tough exterior. The spoon's kind of fun to use, but you know, you could use a, a peeler as well, I guess. <laughs> then cut that skinless ginger into slices. And if you stumble upon any of those hard skin spots, go ahead and trim them out. Then once you've got all those slices, we're gonna thinly slice those up even more. Now that the ginger is minced, now for the fun part. We're gonna cover that with a sheet of wax paper and with a kitchen mallet or a rolling pin or something like that, we're gonna beat that ginger. Your kids will love to help you with this step, but you can save yourself a little bit of time, spend a little extra more money, and buy the pre-crushed stuff at the store. Once you've got your crushed ginger, measure out about a tablespoon and put that into the crock pot along with those other ingredients. Now for the easy part, we're going to dump in a third a cup of soy sauce and a third a cup of rice vinegar. One teaspoon of white pepper and one teaspoon of white sugar. And an eight ounce can of drained bamboo shoot strips and one teaspoon to one tablespoon of sriracha sauce. You choose your level of spiciness. And top all this off with eight cups of chicken broth. Give everything a great big stir to make sure it's all mixed in. Then you're gonna cook this for six to eight hours on low or three to four hours on high. Right before serving, make sure you add in a fourth a cup of sliced green onions and a fourth a cup of chopped up cilantro. But if you don't have three to four hours to cook your hot and sour soup, let me show you the quick and easy stovetop method. Start by placing eight ounces of cubed up tofu into that pot, along with eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, a third a cup of soy sauce, a third a cup of rice vinegar, and then one can of those bamboo shoot strips. Add in your tablespoon of crushed ginger, and then that sriracha sauce. One teaspoon of white pepper, and one teaspoon of that white sugar. And just like before, you're gonna use eight cups of chicken broth, so make sure you are using a large pot. Give this a great big stir and head over to the stove. Bring this to a boil over medium high heat. Once that's reached a boil, you're gonna reduce that heat to a low and you're gonna cover that up and let it simmer for five to 10 minutes. Then right before serving, make sure you stir in those green onions and cilantro and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.